सो वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लेसन नंबर फोर ओके ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन द कोर्स नेम इज ब्लॉक चेन एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज ओके नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस लेसन नंबर फोर लेट एस सी वाट वी डिस्कस इन द लेसन नंबर थ्री दिस इज लेसन नंबर थ्री समरी सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ द ब्लॉक चेन हाउ ट्रांजेक्शन आर क्रिएटेड how transactions are recorded how transactions are confirmed okay then we discuss what are the benefits of the blockchain then <coughs> what are the problems of the blockchain technology then what are the different features of the blockchain technology okay and what are the different types of blockchain along with the distributed ledger technology <coughs> so this is what we discuss in the lesson number 3 and see all the points we discussed so far in lesson number 1 2 and 3 are very very important to make yourself understand the advanced concept of the blockchain technology so if you are not still getting some of the concepts from this particular lesson then you can uh, go back and you just uh, watch the video that uh, we created so far for the lesson number 1 2 3 okay now today uh, we are going to discuss the next uh, and very important or you can say the core uh, concept of this blockchain technology that is the consensus okay now let us go ahead now consensus so what is that consensus consensus is the backbone of the blockchain and as a result it provides decentralization of a control through an optional process known as a mining so what we discuss earlier if any of the node created the transaction in a network blockchain network then transaction that transaction is recorded into the distributed ledger only when consensus is reached among the multiple nodes in that particular blockchain network means no single node or no central authority can confirm the transaction okay involvement of all the nodes in that particular blockchain network is required to confirm that transaction to record that particular transaction okay and that process we are following for is is called as a mining now which type of consensus algorithm is used here the consist choice of the consensus algorithm is used and governed by the type of the blockchain in use okay that is not all consensus mechanisms are suitable for all types of a blockchain so there are different uh, types of uh, consensus algorithms are available okay Al uh, available and we can select okay depending upon the type of blockchain in use depending upon the type of application that we are going to implement uh, using the blockchain technology so there are number of criteria as while uh, use while selecting the consensus algorithm for example in public permissions permissionless blockchain see we have seen the category here the what is the written public permissionless blockchain means the type of the blockchain is public means any of the node in a network can participate in a blockchain and it is a, and it is a permissionless means without any permission you can join the blockchain network you will get some uh, compensation or not it depends uh, depends it would make sense to use a proof of work instead of a simple agreement mechanism that is perhaps based upon the proof of authority so most of the time when we are dealing with the private blockchain we are not using any kind of a consensus algorithm we are simply using the agreement protocol okay simple agreement mechanism or you can call it as a simple agreement protocol sir it's used in a private blockchains or you can say private permission blockchains but whenever you are dealing with the public permissionless blockchain okay we are always preferring the pow it is called as a proof of work okay so <coughs> it depends upon the type and the requirement which type of consensus algorithm is used now so consensus is the process of agreement between the distributing nodes on the final state of the data 
to achieve consensus different algorithms are used <coughs> so what i uh, told you earlier it is a process of agreement between the distributing nodes which are part of the blockchain network on the final state of the data or a final state of the transaction okay if each and every node distributed node in that particular network agreed on the final state of the data means this should be the final state of the data like that then and then we can say the consensus is achieved or consensus is reached among the multiple nodes in a blockchain network okay and then that particular transaction is confirmed and recorded permanently into the distributed database very important now what are the consensus mechanism requirement so the first requirement is what agreement agreement is what all honest nodes decides on the same value agreement means what means all the nodes in that particular blockchain network must agree on some common value that is what the first requirement second requirement is termination all the honest nodes terminate the execution of the consensus process and eventually you reach to a decision yes that is the second requirement of the consensus next is the validity so validity is what the value agreed upon by all honest nodes must be the same as the initial value proposed by at least one of the honest node means each and every node in a blockchain network okay blockchain network proposed the value and whenever the consensus is reached each and every distributed node in that blockchain network must agree on at least one of the value or at one of the value which is decided by the any one of the node in the network that is called as a validity when the value pro, the value proposed uh, the value uh, must be decided by any one of the node in that particular network now fault tolerate the consensus algorithm should be able to run in the presence of fault tolerant or malicious nodes means because of some technical issue or any unexpected uh, uh, issue if the node functionality of node goes down then it becomes a faulty so in that case also your consensus algorithm should be able to run even in the presence of faulty node or the malicious node that is very very important requirement of the consensus next integrity this is a requirement that no node can make the decision more than once in a single consensus cycles means once the decision is made once the decision is final and when all the nodes in a distributed uh, in a blockchain network are agreed on then you cannot <coughs> make another decision okay then and then only that integrity is achieved so whenever we are dealing with the consensus kind of algorithm all this consensus of algorithm must meet all these requirement agreement termination validity then fault tolerant and integrity okay next now types of consensus mechanism so traditionally there are two categories uh, uh, which are used either here the consensus mechanism first one is a traditional byzantine fault tolerance al fault tolerance base it is called as a bft short form is bft now here with no computer intensive operation with partial hash this method relies on a simple scheme of nodes that are publisher sign messages okay means even actually when certain number of messages are received then the agreement is reached means it depending upon the number of messages received based upon that the agreement is reached that is called as a traditional byzantine fault tolerance based algorithm okay that is called as a bft another category is called as a leader election based consensus mechanism okay this arrangement requires nodes to compute in a leader election lottery and nodes that wins the wins proposes a final value 
okay so there is a election okay there is a ele election and the with that election leader is elected okay leader is elected and that leader will pro will propose the final value okay so <coughs> that is called as a leader election based consensus mechanism so these are the two major categories of the consensus algorithm <coughs> now now i have listed here the different types of consensus algorithm in the blockchain but this is incomplete i have listed very few uh, consensus algorithm here okay let me read this for you and we are going to revisit all these consensus uh, algorithms uh, in a subsequent uh, you can say sessions also as per the requirement okay because some of the consensus algorithm are old some of the latest some are having issues so we'll always go ahead with the latest consensus algorithm used today okay so proof of work proof of stake delegated proof of stake proof of elapsed time proof of deposit proof of importance federated consensus or repetition based mechanism or pbft proof of activity proof of capacity and proof of storage okay so these different kinds of uh, algorithms are uh, consensus algorithms are uh, there okay which are used with the which are used uh, with the blockchain so uh, we'll stop here uh, for this uh, with this consensus uh, mechanism and uh, we'll meet again in a very last uh, concept of this particular uh, blockchain from the unit number 1 in the next session okay thank you